What the frick is up, fam? Okay, let's get into it. Let's see what the message is today. I'm just gonna pull out a bunch of cards and see where the energy takes us. Hope y'all are having a fine day slash night slash afternoon whenever you're watching this. We got somebody getting justice. They're walking away on to better, bigger and better things. They have a new perspective on something. Um, I'm getting that they're really balancing this energy of like being, um, I don't want to say calculated, being pr strategic, right? Being strategic, but also intuitive and grounded at the same time, not overly strategic. Um, there's, there's a really good balance going on here between being up in the clouds and being down on earth, right? Um, I see with this new perspective, whoever I'm speaking to has the potential to help others with it. Um, so this isn't a good thing for them. It's not, I'm getting that it's not just justice for them. They're getting justice for others who deserve it as well by leaving. Whatever they decided to do, whatever they decided to leave, whatever this new perspective has to do with. They're, oh my God, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There is some big, big shift going on right now for this person. I have all four queens out right now. And what that tells me is whoever this person is, they are in the process of balancing all their energies in order to become the empress or maybe they already are embodying this empress energy i would not be surprised if it popped out um but i'm getting a real like righteous <laughs> vibe like like the queen is somebody who takes care of her people and that's the vibe that i'm getting this queen has been queen or empress has been seeing her people not getting the justice that they should be getting and so she decided to it looks like she decided to put herself together so she can and this doesn't have to be gender specific it's just an energy right so it could be a male as well but whoever this person is, they decided to bring all their energy together in a balanced way and move on with something that was holding them back in order to start some new endeavor that's going to help them and it's going to help the other people surrounding them as well. What is this new perspective about? <laughs> what is this new perspective? I'm getting like moving forward, moving forward in a more whole manner. This isn't telling me what the perspective is exactly though. Um, it's just confirming that you're, you're moving forward in some full balanced manner right now. Okay, what is this new perspective? What does this have to do with? Oh my god. <laughs> I 
I thought I just broke my cards in half. I didn't, but it sounded like they snapped. That was crazy. What is this new perspective? You may have snapped. Intergalactic mastery and confirmation. Um, intergalactic, intergalactic mastery. This card has been like haunting us. Um, higher perception, passion. Oh, look at how beautiful these cards are. They look like they go together. Like, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. New perspective, like I was saying. Higher perception, passion. You could be chasing your passions. And there's some sort of, when I think of intergalactic mastery, I'm thinking of different planes, right? So we have our higher self, we have ourself now on this plane, we have multiple versions of ourselves, right? And like I said, there was some form of integration um, going on with whoever this person is. So it really gives me the vibe that this person is working to bring all of themselves together in order to accomplish this and they may be going in the direction of whatever their passion is going with their passion to help others oh i love it stability we got stability y'all whatever this is it is gonna bring you stability is going to bring you justice it's going to bring you and other people surrounding you stability and justice um let's see i'm not really seeing any problems here mainly i'm just seeing that there were problems like i said you could have snapped there were problems in the past and maybe you just got so fed up with it that you were like, you know what, fuck this shit. I'm doing me. Okay, what else can we get about this? Stability. Um, change. There is so much good energy here, guys. If I were to give you any piece of advice based off these cards, it would be to try your best to get out of your head because we do have the Four of Swords right here. Try your best to get out of your head and rest as much as you can. You know, you can't fill from an empty pitcher. You can't fill other people's cups from an empty pitcher. And if your goal is to not only help yourself, but help other people, you are going to have to take care of yourself and rest with integrating yourself, which it, whoever I'm speaking to, you probably already know this because it looks like you're doing the fucking work. Okay. But you need to balance your masculine and feminine energies because if you are always in masculine which is like action and you're never in feminine you're never going to receive the blessings that you're actually working for you it, there has to be a balance right you have to go in your masculine do the shit but you also need to carve out time to be in your feminine where you can receive and relax and be comfortable and just let those let that abundance that you worked for come in for you because oftentimes people who are heavily in their masculine and don't give time for their feminine which i i am guilty of this sometimes get so wrapped up in working that when they do get their blessings they don't even recognize them you know you don't even see that it's actually happening um Okay, what else, what else, what else? Divine feminine, you could be a divine feminine or it could be just confirmation that you need to spend more time in your divine feminine so you can actually receive this abundance that you've been working for. Um, crystal technology and gratitude rampage. Gratitude rampage, it already happened. So whatever this is, and it's interesting that I brought up timelines um, or 
something similar to timelines, the different versions of ourselves, right? Because when I think of different versions of ourselves, I also think of different timelines. So there is a version out there of you that has already succeeded in this. Maybe you can use crystal technology in order to help you tap into this higher higher version of yourself to um, help bridge the gap right to help bring it into fruition but don't forget to be grateful sit in your divine feminine and be grateful for this because this is a good thing not only for you but for other people okay what else can I get for this nine 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 could be significant the color yellow or your solar plexus that has to do with like i do like your confidence right my light you guys can't really see it but it's yellow um which is interesting <laughs> i love it when that happens um da, da, da. we also got red so red is your root which is like i am that's what you identify as um your root chakra so these could be also, these could be things that, or chakras that you can work on with crystals as well. So um, if you're working on your root chakra, like I said, it corresponds to red. So you would want to use certain red crystals in conjunction to help balance or heal or whatever you're trying to do with your chakra system. Um what else what else what else don't worry about what the fuck people think of you aries energy 777 that's good luck um aries is very fiery aries is little baby of the zodiac right it's the first one of the zodiac so aries is very like i'm going for it i don't give a fuck i'm going for it i just want to explore and figure things out like a baby you know um which is very much the energy that I'm getting from this. Like somebody, it seems to me like somebody just said, fuck it, I'm sick of, sick of my circumstances. Let's change it. What else can I get here? What else can I get? Religion, it could do with religion or not even religion it could do with um your spirituality because we did have divine feminine come out it could have to do with your spirit if you are a spiritually connected person like i said this this person has all four queens like if you guys don't know traditionally in tarot you can think of the queens as like each step in order to get to the empress right so when you have the four queens and they come together that equals the empress because that person is embodying all of the aspect the positive aspects of the four queens which are the positive aspects of the empress um let's see there could be some type of uh conflict that when this does come in you're going to have to really look at <laughs> and this is interesting because this seems connected to the last reading that i just did which isn't it fucking always um that's what happens when you're reading for a collective but when this does come in you're going to have to use your discernment and kind of look at the people that you want to keep in your life or the people that you have been surrounding yourself with or are surrounding yourself with and you have to because i'm getting that you're gonna you're gonna be getting some type of money whether it's inheritance whether it's just you have a banging ass job i don't know but you're going to be getting some type of money. And the thing about money is once you start having it, all these motherfuckers want to come around and be your friend. So you're really going to have to take your, uh, your rose colored glasses off and really like discern who is just trying to use you for what you have and who actually cares about you and wants to be in your life. Right. Um, I feel like fours are super significant i've i've seen a shit ton of fours here so i don't know 44 444 um i think things it seems like things are going quick okay 
maybe not as quick as you want, but it's going quick. And I'm getting that some people, when you do decide to discern, you might, okay, <laughs> this isn't going to be for everybody, but when this happens, you could have somebody come into your life. It could be a new person. It could be somebody from the past could come into your life trying to give you this, um, this false cup, right? This like, oh, hey, remember we used to be best friends and remember how close we were? Let's rekindle that, right? Because they want what you have because you, you are getting something. Something is happening here. Even if it's just your inspiration or your passion or whatever, they want something that you have. And I see you being here like, mm, yeah, okay, where were you? <laughs> where were you? And I was going, when I was in the trenches, right? Um, and this might make some people feel shitty. And that's, it's tough, but that's just how it's gonna, have to be you can't please everybody judgment you can't please everybody y'all i feel like you are being guided to go like you are definitely you're being guided to go down this path whatever you did whatever work you've been doing you deserve whatever is coming to you because this is a lot of fucking hard work this takes a lot of going within Yeah, I, I don't think there's very much I can say other than this, but you got some really, really good cards, really big, like these are canon, uh, this is a canon event, guys, like this is a, this is good. I'm gonna get one more, one more from this deck, we're gonna see. I can't believe I thought I ripped my fucking deck in half. How, I would have to be so strong I was like, I know I've been working out, but damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get one more. One more. What can we what can we say about this? Uh -huh -huh. Going out in nature could be really beneficial for you. Singing, opening up your throat chakra could be really beneficial for you, especially if you're gonna have to deal with these people coming back in your lives, trying to get a piece of your, your cake, right? Um, because you're gonna have to have a strong throat chakra to stand up for yourself. Great diviner, there's, like I said, there's like, you got this magical energy, man. You've been doing, you've been doing the fucking work. I see it, I acknowledge it, I'm proud of you go in nature, um, practicing healthy, uh, healthy view points around food is also beneficial as well. I don't know, this might not apply to everybody, but um, just allowing yourself, obviously take care of yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to find the right words to say this. Don't be too restrictive about what you're eating, but also take care of your body. Don't just eat bullshit, right? But you need to be mindful that when you go too far one way, usually it has uh, counter effects, right? So you have to, you have to find a, a balanced approach when it comes to, and this could be not just food, it can be anything that you're consuming, trying to find that balanced equilibrium approach, alignment, thank you, alignment, magic, like I said, you got some magical ass energy, and accountability after we we're talking about cons or, um, consuming things, so you want to make sure that what you're consuming right now is in alignment and you are holding yourself accountable to it. This may have to do with your mindset or just, you know, your body. Like you want to be, like last thing you want <laughs> is to get this great, beautiful opportunity and then you're in bad health, <laughs> which I'm not saying you are gonna be, but you wanna, you wanna make sure that you are in alignment, like I said, with whatever's coming in 
so you can enjoy it to its fullest potential because like I said I see that you have been doing the work out here you have been doing the um, the hard inner work maybe even outer work too and aligning yourself with your passions and um, trying to help others as well not just help yourself which we need we need fucking more of that in the world Oof, we need more of that in the world so thank you for whatever you're doing i just want to say i love you and i see nothing but great things on your horizon make sure that you're strengthening your throat chakra make sure that you are aware of what you're consuming and make sure that because okay what you're consuming one of my favorite youtubers says this what you are consuming consumes you right what you consume consumes you which i think is so fucking true so just be aware of that and cut out the fake bitches and you're good i love you see you next time